Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from XGODI. This is their A40 Full HD a Smart Projector that runs on Android TV OS. Uh, it also supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, it's got a built-in app store, and you get a total access to Google Play as well. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at everything that you get with the A40 when you get it out of the box. The first thing you're going to get is a user guide for the projector, and it's written in English. Uh, it's not micro print. You're not going to have a hard time reading this. This is going to give you all your button assignments on your remote uh, because there is only a singular button on the actual projector itself, which is for power. Uh, you can get up to a 180 or 200 inch screen on this, depending on how far back you are hold on to this for reference if you do need it now we do have a remote here which it has all your basic functions on it uh, but in the upper right hand corner you do have a, a focus which is that kind of plus and minus sign in the upper right hand corner uh, because there is no focus ring on the actual device uh, it will use electronic focus and it also has a, a setup here for uh, automatic focus uh, in the system itself which is very handy uh, and very quick to uh, automatically focus your picture for you. We'll get into that in a bit. Now here is your a power cable, a simple two-prong to two-prong power cable, keeping things slim and compact by putting the uh, power supply itself within the unit. You also get an HDMI to HDMI cable in case you do want to hook up something extra like a game console or a Blu-ray player. You certainly can do that as well. Now let's take a look at the A40 itself. XGODI logo on the front. You've got your uh, projection lens. And then on the right-hand side, you've got uh, the lens for the auto focus and a singular power button at the top. Some venting on the sides and back and then of course an IR port on the upper right hand side on the lower right hand side your power port a full HDMI port a full USB port you do have a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio out and a 3.5 millimeter audio visual in as well if you want to hook up legacy devices uh, you can do that so overall, just nice and compact, this unit. You can see it's got four feet on the bottom to hold it in place for you. And it also has a spot for a tripod mount if you would like to mount this with a tripod. At the bottom, you do have a removable uh, dust filter here. Uh, so that's awesome that they do include one uh, that you can remove and service. Okay, so this is your main screen that you're going to get here. And you're going to have some things that are pre-installed and ready to go for you, uh, like Netflix, uh, YouTube, Prime Video. It does have its own built-in app store, uh, but you also get uh, its uh, access to the Google Play Store as well. This is running uh, Android TV OS 9.0 with its own skin on top of it. Uh, we can do a little... Uh, changing of wallpapers in the background if we want to so you can see we can easily select a wallpaper and then go back and it will add that wallpaper uh, to this so you can kind of make it your own a little bit uh, and again it's running on android 9.0 tv os uh, so you've got some things here uh, like my app stuff that's already installed you can see i've got miracast already installed the google play store of course which gives you access to thousands and thousands of apps that you can run right here from the uh, projector itself and then bluetooth audio as well uh, if you do want to cast via ios you'll have to download from their app store uh, a particular app for that uh, as well 
and then you'll be able to, of course, uh, be able to use that as well for iOS. Uh, and the name of that app, I believe, is called AVS or AS, it's called AirScreen, and you can get it right from their app store. And this is their app store here, uh, and you can see that there's uh, different categories uh, that we can go through, uh, the apps that are already installed, obviously, and then settings, which we can check for upgrades, clear our cache, and uh, learn more about uh, what we have installed. So if I go to upgrade here, uh, I'll find out that I'm already on the uh, most uh, recent update for this projector. Uh, and you've got other things like NBC, TED, Tubi, Plex. Uh, these are some of the apps that you can install, CBS, NBA. Uh, and obviously, if you're going to install these, you have to have, uh, you know, especially ones that are going to be like, um, you know, Amazon Prime Video. You're going to have to log in uh, with your Prime account. Uh, to actually check these out. But it's nice that they're here and the skin that they've put over uh, Android TV 9 uh, looks really good uh, and does a great job on uh, presentation. Now we can check our weather at the top. You'll see a little weather icon. We can also go in and check our settings. This is where you're going to set up your Wi-Fi. I am connected to my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and we are good to go. So this does support 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is great. We also have Bluetooth as well. So if we want to add external speakers, uh, we can do that. Now this particular projector has two 3 watt speakers in it already. Uh, but we can hook some up via Bluetooth if we would like to. You've got some uh, language selection here, and they have a wide selection of languages that you can check. Also, projection settings. This is going to be for your keystone correction, uh, your projection mode. Uh, if you do want to set this up in something different, your autofocus, uh, say projection mode, you want to mount this upside down. So you can do you know, desktop rear projection or front projection, ceiling, front and rear rear. You've got all of those right there. Uh, also on autofocus, I like to leave this on because it pretty much just dials in uh, my focus without me really having to touch it at all, which is really great. Uh, we do have other settings here, such as our boot mode, uh, which we can do either just power on or power on standby. Boot settings, which means we can boot to a drive, which is the internal drive, or an external drive if you want to put a USB drive on there about your system and factory resetting as well. Again, going back to upgrade, we can check for local updates via USB, or we can check for them right online if you're connected. And you can see I'm at the uh, most updated version, so that's great as well. So overall, just a nice presentation uh, by XGoody here uh, with things like YouTube being able to go in and just watch YouTube videos really quickly. Uh, you know, Amazon uh, Prime and uh, Netflix, all of those, you have access to all of those and more with the App Store and of course the Google Play Store as well. So you can add other ones like Disney Plus and Hulu and HBO Max and all of the other ones that are there and available. You can of course install here as well. Of course, uh, this is a native uh, 720p projector, but it will support 1080p files. I do like to test these with 4K files just to see how well they play them back. And as you can see right here, we have no problems playing these back.
Okay, so that was my 4K encoded file, uh, just a little capture of some gameplay from Fortnite. Played back that 4K file, no problems whatsoever. Uh, the speakers are two 3-watt speakers, and you could hear the fan noise a little bit, but again, you have Bluetooth, so you can actually hook up uh, you know, either wired speakers uh, via 3.5 millimeter or headphones, or Bluetooth headphones or speakers via Bluetooth if you would like as well. Uh, so overall, they did a pretty good job on that as well. Uh, the picture was crisp and clear with good uh, colors and overall plays very well. It's rated at 9,000 lumens with a contrast ratio of 3,000 to 1. Now, MirrorCast works really easy on here, so if I want to uh, cast my phone, my Android phone especially, to this device, uh, it's no problem at all. I just go into the MirrorCast uh, setup here, and then I use on my Samsung phone uh, Smart View and just connect to uh, MCAST-3593, and it'll be different for yours or uh, you know whatever you're going to be doing. But you can see my phone comes up no problems at all, no lag whatsoever. So I can uh, you know cast my phone to this, uh, no problems whatsoever. And again, if you want to do iOS, you're going to have to go and download the AirScreen app from their app store. Super simple and easy, uh, but then you'll be able to do your uh, screen from iOS as well. So there you go. That's my review of the A40 home theater projector from XGoody. They did a great job on this. It's super compact. Uh, the brightness is fine. The color representation is good. Um, as far as the speakers go, uh, they're you know they're okay. Uh, you can, of course, uh, always put on your own external speakers or Bluetooth speakers, which will make this much better, uh, or you can do wired headphones as well. It's nice and compact, easy to take with you uh, if you're going to you know, take this over to a friend's house or uh, somewhere uh, other than your own home. Uh, you can get a plenty big screen out of this. And overall, I think X Goody did a great job on this. I really like that it's based on Android TV OS because that gives Gives us a full access to the Play Store, which means we can, you know, uh, download pretty much anything that you can think of that's on the Play Store, even games, and then hook up a Bluetooth controller and actually play games from the Android, uh, you know, App Store as well. So that's actually really cool. Overall, just a really full featured. Uh, set up here from X Goody with the A40, and uh, you should definitely put it on your list of ones to take a look at. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.